Hey, hey, good morning. Mm. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Good morning to you. Good morning. Oh, I'm so excited today. I'm so excited. Can't wait for you to join me if you're catching this on the replay. Thank you so much. If you're catching me live, let me know you're here with a little thumbs up. Happy Saturday. It's Gratitude Saturday, but we're going to actually talk about what Zach, Zach Efron can teach you and me about longevity. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And you're probably wondering why I got this sweat towel. This is my gym sweat, whatever you want to call it, sweat towel. Oh, just literally got back from a walk. So I apologize. Didn't realize it's going to be that long. And that has something to do with today's message. But first off, it's Gratitude Saturday. On Saturday, we expressed our gratitude. I'm grateful for what I have to share with you today. And it has to do with a walk. And a bit of an apology as well, I might add. So I'm going to apologize. Uh, I'm, I'm, great, I'm grateful for forgiveness today. So I'm going to apologize uh, to you about something in just a moment. But we're going to talk also about what Zac Efron can teach you and me. And I actually learned a little bit the other day or last night uh, about longevity. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. So welcome to The Daily Ghost. We're in episode number 118. And just so you know, if you wanted to check out an, any other episode, like if you've just come on and started following me, or maybe you, somebody shared with you a daily dose, we have 118 episodes. They're all labeled. They're all on YouTube too. So if you go just search my name, I don't really, I'm not like a YouTuber. So I just have these that go to YouTube. So I have a kind of a storage area. You can just search my name up on YouTube. Maybe at some point I'll do it, but I, I know I wanted to, to hang on to these because 118 days ago, I started what's called the Daily Dose Show. This show at 8 a.m., uh, seven days a week. And uh, for the last under 118 days, I've just been encouraged by so many of you to keep going, keep doing this. But in the beginning, it was about just trying to do my part to help encourage others in a time that it's it's really easy to not be encouraged by a lot of things that are going on. Maybe you in your world, in your life personally, but also maybe just around you in relationships and in your um, maybe your business, maybe your family, maybe, you know, lots of things going on, just your struggles with anxiety and fear, maybe it has to do with some with regards with regards to your personal health. But regardless, I just want you to know that um, I want this to be purely encouraging. And if you found this encouraging, there's nothing really in it to me other than share this with somebody else. Uh, if I can be encouragement to you, and I can tell you, <laughs> I go back and listen to my own messages. And uh, the messages that I hear from people and you just want you to know that I'm very encouraged by you. But let's get into this. Let's talk about what can Zach Efron teach us all. He taught me about longevity. And I, I don't know if you know who Zach Efron is. And honestly, I kind of forgot because he's around for a while. And he's an actor, obviously, if you've, you've heard of that name before. And so he's been in some of those kind of teeny, teeny bopper shows, whatever, early on. My kids watched him when they were younger. I forget what they were called. Honestly, I'm not even... I'm not even sure I have not that great a memory, but I do know that he has a new show that's out and it's called Down to Earth. You can go check it out. I was, somebody told me about it. I said, hey, you like it? And I don't really, we don't really watch TV. Occasionally we'll put on like The Office maybe or something like that, or maybe watch reruns of, of uh, Parks and Recreation. I don't know, just kind of like mindless humor stuff. And, uh, but we don't watch it too much. Uh, I just have, my schedule's just too full. And there's too many other things on my plate that it just we just don't spend time. In fact, we got rid of cable years and years ago. We do have a TV and occasionally we'll watch a movie, um, but other than that. But I did hear about somebody shared with me, and I'm sorry, I, I just came back from a walk, so I'm a bit thirsty. My mouth is a bit dry. Water is a good thing. Uh, that was actually on that show as well. But anyway, these episodes, Down to Earth, basically he and this nutritionist guy, you can go check it out. Not me promoting it. I don't make any proceeds off of the show. But I thought it was pretty cool. Somebody said, hey, Mark, you'll like the show. The guy goes, you know, they go traveling all over the world and they visit places that are sustainable places. And, you know, they went to Iceland and they went to other places. But I happened to watch last night where they went to this place and they wanted to learn about longevity. And they went to the Centurion, 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 not Centurion. I think it's called Centurions. The people that live over 100 years old and uh, you think of, I don't know if you've met anybody, I know there's a few people. In fact, one of my oldest patients uh, in the hospital when I worked in physical therapy back in uh, New York when I lived there was 104 years old, little Italian lady. It's kind of interesting that she was Italian too, 104 years old and uh, she broke her hip and I, was, I had the privilege, really truly the privilege and honor to work with her and help re her, rehab her hip so that she could walk again. 
And I had shared that story and I won't share that, but I just wanted to share this about what Zac Efron uh, taught me in a show about longevity. And it really was just chiming into what they do in Sardinia, Sardinia in Italy, this area in Italy. And I'm sure you've probably heard of the blue zone. Maybe you've read that book. My wife was telling me about the book she read. I think we have it, but it talks about these, these blue zones, these areas that people live, a lot of highly densely populated where people live past a hundred years old, a hundred years. Like, think about that. I'm not like, I'm half, not even almost halfway there to think that I have a whole nother half of life, if that was a possibility. So why am I, why do I want to talk about that? Because it's pretty crazy to think. I think the average life sp lifespan for Americans, and I don't know if it's globally, but I think for Americans in general is about 78. It may be a little higher, maybe 80, 78, 80. I think women, it's 82 men. It's maybe 78. I'm not quite sure on that. But regardless of time on that, the, the things that I learned yesterday, and that's what I want to share with you, so you have some value out of this, right? Not just to hear me yap and yap. It's Saturday, right? And I'm sure you have some, some things planned with your family, hopefully. But I want you, if you do get a chance, go check it out. I'd love to talk to you about it. It was pretty awesome. But there was two things that, sh that struck me in this show. Not so much that they lived to 100. Of course, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, and I don't know if I necessarily want to live to 100, especially if I lose my mind in the process. But they got a chance to talk to a few people, local residents, and they talked about like the area and the genealogy and all that stuff. And there was something obviously to that, but then also the lifestyle and the low stress. And the really two things, two things, and that, that's where my apology comes into play. Two things that I have to share with you is number one, they went to this one guy's house and he had, he was, I think he was about a hundred. He was just about a hundred. His, his wife lived to about a hundred and that's unheard of two people living to about a hundred. And, um, he had this biggest smile. Now you could tell he was an old guy, but he had the smile on his face, just a smile. Like it was like a per, you know, those people that are just permanently smiling. I wish I had that. I smile, but I don't have that permanent smile. I have sometimes, yeah, like the normal look. But he had this permanent smile. That was the one thing. And where he had lived, they went for a walk and he came out of his house and they said, you want to go for a walk? Because one of the things they were talking about is he walks. So they went for a walk. Zach and this, I forget the guy's name, who's the nutritionist. And they go and the interpreter and they go for this walk. And the guy was, you know, 90 something, almost 100 years old. And he was walking like a champ, like he was walking. And they said that that was part of his routine three times a day. He goes for like a quarter mile walk around his, this kind of little area, this neighborhood. And I don't know if he goes to the store and they showed him went to like a pub and he had, I don't know, he had a glass of wine or something like that. But it was really neat. And it just made me think. And he talked about the people that were like in Sardinia and a big part of their jobs or um, sheep herders. So they were sheep herders um, and um, they were shepherds, right? Shepherds, sheep herders, shepherds. And they did a lot of walking, right? Sometimes five to 15 miles every day. And it just made me think of the value of walking. It just made me think it's something just like kind of lit. And that goes into my apology because I think I get so caught up as a coach and thinking that it has to be about like strength training. It has to be about going hard. You know, I even, you know, I post videos of me doing jump rope and a hard workout. And while, I, you know, I've enjoyed those things, there's something to be said about the basics of life, about something as simple as going for a walk. And there must be some truth behind it. And it was something interesting. I'm not going to get into this part about it with uh, their diets being low protein and high carbohydrates, believe it or not. But just the two really things that struck to me was the smile on his face and the walk. So what did I do this morning? Of course, I'm inspired by the show and, and I hope you are as well if you do watch it is that I said, you know what? And I go for a walk with my dog, but it's not, it's like, just let me get the dog for a walk and back. But I went for an intentional walk today, this morning. I got up a little bit, well, not earlier, but I got up early and I took my dog and we went for a walk to the pier, which is about four miles from, uh, um, two miles, a little more than two and a half miles down. So it's about a four to five mile walk. I don't know exactly. I think it's close to five miles. So we went on the beach and the sun was not just not coming up quite yet. And honestly, I had my phone, but I didn't even want to do sunrise video or anything. I was just going for a walk. And you know what? I feel so good. Not because I feel like I'm on the road to a hundred years old. I just felt like, you know what? I've been overlooking something as simple as taking a walk. 
and the value of that. And I think I've bashed it before and I, I have to say I apologize for those of you who maybe have heard me say, you need to strength train, you need to work out hard, you need to do intervals. I had my gym, I had interval trainings, we did all that and maybe even like the walking on the treadmill. I'm not, I still quite don't understand if there's lots of beautiful places to walk outdoors to go walk on treadmill. That's a, maybe another story another time. But for now, just the value of a walk and you know what was really nice? What brought a smile to my face was just thinking of that man who is about 100 years old and a smile. I was thinking of him and I was walking by people who were walking the dogs and just down watching the sunrise and just it put a smile on my face. And it was interesting because it was something that Zac Efron's show taught me about longevity. It's not, you see, it's not so much to me. And I shared this the other day, like about yesterday, about the weight you lose. It's about the life you gain. And that was yesterday's message. And today, what I'm so, like, I'm grateful today being the gratitude, share my gratitude post. I'm grateful for a walk. I'm grateful that I'm able to walk. I'm grateful God gave me another day to be on this earth, to live, to breathe. And I'm grateful to have the opportunity to take a nice long walk. And I have a body that's able to do that for me. So what I'd like to share with you today is, is two things that could be really, really powerful in your weekend. Is number one, to smile more, to put a smile on your face more. And then also to take a nice long walk. And maybe it's hot and maybe you have to wait till later. Or maybe you have a treadmill and you can do that. But just think of that story I told you about the 100-year-old man who walked, you know. And it wasn't, I don't know how far he walked, but he, he was, there was something to be said about those that are living long. And I think it has to do with not so much that they live a long life, but there's something about having a smile on your face and having just something as basic as a walk to help kind of keep your body and not just your body, your mindset in a good place you know, keep the stress levels down. I feel so comfortable and relaxed right now uh, from that four, whatever, four and a half mile walk. And I wanted to share this with you as well because it's something that I also spend time with the Lord in the morning. And there's a couple of verses that came up and I wanted to share those with you. Uh, number, the first one, Psalm 21, four says, he asked, he asked life of you and he gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. And if you think of that, I think he asked life of you, basically asked to give your life to him, to give your life over to the Lord. And you gave it to him in length of days forever and ever. And what I think of is not so much how many years I have left is that when I put my faith and trust and hope all in, in the Lord and gave my life over to him as I knew it was not just a time that I'm here on earth. In fact, I know that there's this, this permanent eternal life that there is to be lived and that's something that just makes me put a smile on my face and makes me want to go for a walk and appreciate the time i do have here because if i can share that with others then it's something that i think god is putting on me um, in my heart the other one is proverbs 3 2 for length of days and years of life and peace they will be added to you length of the days and years of life and peace they will be added to you in other words we have probably a certain period of time but then there's years of life uh, and peace that would be added to you. Man, if there's a time right now in this world where we could all do to have a little more peace in our life, it's right now. So I don't know if you're strong, if you have, if you have strength in your faith, and if you do, I'm gonna encourage you to spread that peace, that smile, maybe take a friend, a neighbor, somebody you don't even know and go for a nice long walk with them and to share the life that you have and enjoy that with others. So the last one is uh, Proverbs 10, 27. So this one's good. 10, 27 in Proverbs says, the fear of the Lord prolongs life. The fear of the Lord, not being afraid of him, fear and reverence for him prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. And, you know, I'm sure you may or may not know some people who are really not too friendly and not too nice, and maybe they're wicked. Maybe you know and they're wicked. Maybe they even lived a long life. But then you have to just think if you if they knew truly what, God's path was for their life and understanding how much God loved them. And if they didn't spend maybe a part of their life or their entire life being angry and bitter and mad and so to speak wicked, as the Bible says, is that you think of the fear of the Lord prolongs life. So with the sooner we have that reverence and love for the Lord and, and fear of fear for him is that our years, uh, 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 that it prolongs life. And that's something that just is encouraging to me whether I'm here for another year or a hundred years, or I make it to a hundred years, as I know that there's this, this reverence that I have for the Lord and uh, his path is so much greater, even if it's not a long path ahead, even if it's a shorter path ahead, at the end of the day, it's a better path ahead. 
and I'm just going to encourage you with that. So this is the Daily Dose. Saturday, I hope this found you well. The message today about what Zac Efron can teach us and teach maybe you about longevity. Go back and watch the beginning of it if you didn't watch it. And uh, that's all I have. Take care and have a very blessed weekend. We'll see you.